morning, friends and family in Jesus. Uh, welcome here this morning. Um, if you want to follow this morning in the Word of God, I'm going to be reading out of Lamentations. Uh, it's a book that we haven't been in yet. So Lamentations uh, chapter 3. This is a book that the prophet Jeremiah wrote. So it's filled with uh, prophecy and wisdom and knowledge and insight. And in keeping with the theme that we started uh, with a Sunday evening on the wachum or the uh, compassion of our Father. We're going to see what Jeremiah says about the compassion of the Father this morning. So if you want to follow Lamentations uh, chapter 3, we're going to be reading from verse 20 um, or 21. From verse 21, the Bible says, Yet this... I call to mind and therefore I have hope. Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassions never fail. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I say to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait for him. The Lord is good to those who... Who hope, whose hope is in him, to the one who seeks him. It is good to wait for the salvation of the Lord. Listen here what uh, Jeremiah says about the compassion of um, the, the Lord. He takes it to a total different level in our, our spirits and in our minds. So he says here, um, uh, because, verse 22... Because of the Lord's great love, we are not consumed. For his compassions, plural, his compassions never fail. And then verse 23, they are new every morning. So, family in Jesus, we, we sometimes think about dealing with a specific thing in our lives or in the lives of our friends and our family. And, and we, um, we draw it down to that one thing, that one. But we forget that our Father in Heaven isn't only looking after one person. He's, he's looking after a whole nation. And, and when I say nation, um, I'm speaking about what Paul spoke about when we come to salvation. Um, we are part of the chosen people of God. So we become one nation. And then um, uh, Jeremiah says here that every single morning, Father God's compassions are new. So uh, what happened to us yesterday and, and what the Lord dealt with yesterday, um, that has then been, as, uh, as was said now, dealt with and, and, and moved on. Um, and now, this morning, we wake up with a new um, uh, thing in our heart. We wake up with a new mindset. And so the Lord deals with those compassions, um, looking after a, a, a whole nation, the, the, the new nation, the, the born-again nation. Amen. So um, it's beautiful how the prophet Jeremiah shows us that Father God comes every single morning and, and takes our hearts, uh, because I, I, I don't know about you, but for myself, you go to, to bed and you go to sleep at night. You've got all these thoughts running through your mind. And, and those thoughts do something to your heart. So you wake up in the morning with um, a, a different heart than what you went to sleep with that night. And then that's when maybe anxiety and worries and, and sadness and um, maybe joy starts to uh, spring up in, in your heart that morning. And then this is where... The prophet Jeremiah comes in and says that every single morning, Father God's compassions are new towards us. Um, so a beautiful, beautiful word from, uh, from, from the prophet uh, Jeremiah this morning. So family in Jesus, as we continue in this day, um, may the compassions of our Father um, be brand new this morning in your life. And and, and may he bless you with, um, with relief. If you need relief, may he bless you with more joy if that is what you are seeking. 
um, peace, kindness, uh, generosity, uh, faithfulness. Um, if that is you this morning, uh, I hope that the Lord will bless you exceedingly abundantly. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> Father God, in the name of your Son, Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for this brand new day, and we thank you that according to your word in this day, your compassions, Lord, is new. And then in this day, in this new morning, Lord, you take our hearts and you deal with it um, as, as it is standing right now, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that if we give it to you, whatever it is, Lord, that it will not stay that way for the rest of the day, that the Bible teaches us that you will take it, Lord, and, and, and that you will, um, you will deal with it right there and, and, and then, Lord Jesus. So we thank you, Father God, for your love. We thank you for your faithfulness, your chesed, and we thank you for your compassion, your wachum. And we thank you that it is new every single morning, Lord, according to what we read in the scripture right now. So, Father, I pray that you will take us uh, throughout this new day, that you will continue to guide us, lead us, teach us, and bless us, remind us of every word that you said. Thank you for that, Father God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We pray and we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, friends and family in Jesus. Uh, I hope that you have a blessed day uh, today. I hope that uh, you have a prosperous and a successful day. Until we meet again tomorrow, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.